Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Crossroads Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Got a lot going on today. Um, got the skid steer out. Got rock. Got a cattle guard. And we have the new overhead entry. Today what I'm going to do, uh, Richard, who's helped build the, the pipe fence that you can see along here, he, uh, he just helped me trim some of this. So our entry was 16 foot long. So let me tell you kind of about our entry and what's going on here. So our entry originally was 16 feet wide. Uh, I got a cattle guard at 16 feet as well um, to match that. Well, when we set our new post, when Sam and I, uh, one of my former students, uh, when Sam and I set these uprights, these six inch, six by six uprights, um, we were off four inches. So um, they're actually, it's actually 15 feet and eight inches wide. So uh, we had to trim off some of this Right here in the middle, we took a piece off. It's the very center um, because this is exactly these uh, two and seven eighths pipe. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use the bucket and I'm going to take off about two inches of our surface. We're gonna set this cattle guard down in here. It's about six and a half inches tall from the very center. We built this overhead at like 14.6. Um, because I think 13.6 is the standard height for tractors or for trucks. And so we, we added six inches also for this cattle guard. So I'm going to dig it down a couple inches. We're going to set the cattle guard. And then we're going to use the rock on both sides um, to kind of make a ramp. Because we, we Richard and Kevin got some advice from, from experienced guys who have cattle guards not to sink it down in the ground and just cover the surface where it's completely flat, where you just drive and you don't have to go up. It's just a um, continuing surface. I said, don't set it because it'll eventually fill in and then you'll have problems. So I'm gonna dig just about two inches just to have it sit down in there. And then uh, that's what we're gonna do. It, and then we're gonna add rock to it. It's gonna rise up and come down. So it'll be a little slope. And when they build these, they make them, uh, they make them to have a little bit of height in the middle right here. I dug down as much as I could. This old ground was a really hard. I wasn't sure it, I mean, it's probably taken a pounding of vehicles that have come, in, come through here over time. Uh, but they definitely held rock in here at one point, which is great because it's a main road. So I um, was able to get underneath some of that clay and whatnot, but I think we got, I think we got plenty of depth now. So um, now it's time to get this in here. It's gonna be a little bit awkward uh, because of the length of that and we're short here on our um, width of our actual entry a couple inches short now I'm gonna try to push this in here and maneuver and get it set so let's give it a try Well, I got it in here. Uh, I kind of doubted myself. I, I didn't know how this was gonna go. And 
Richard, <laughs> he went to lunch. He said, when I get back, well, I'll help you put it in. And uh, I, I was eager and <laughs> see if I could do it by myself uh, with, the, with the New Holland's kids here. So um, all I got to do is just uh, tap it kind of, I want it right here in the center um, to match right here. So it's just a, it's a little bit east right now, but that's okay. And the other thing is I want to make sure it's level. So the next thing is, is uh, once I get it set, I'm going to start bringing in some rock and I've got to build up a slope to this and uh, build a slope on this side. So, um, well, I like it. Well, guys, that is it. Didn't take near as long as I thought. I'm sorry, the noise over here. Richard's getting after it. Richard is putting the top rail on our um, long stretch along the road here. They're using a skid steer and picking up uh, the two and three eighths, which is our top rail that's gonna stretch all the way across kind of the front or the, um, the main road here, as you see the cars coming by. Um, so he's getting that going which is very exciting. Got a lot of stuff happening around here, if you can't tell, but this rock smoothed out uh, pretty well to skid steer. Uh, got a cattle guard set, overhead, you know what's next. The last thing we need is to hang the gates. Guys, I'm so excited to show you these gates. I can't wait to show you. They're so sweet and uh, got a cool feature in them. Of course, when you gotta buy some property, you have gotta put something special on the gate. So, um, that's the last thing we got to do. Category set, rock in, overhead, uprights, entry. It's ready for some gates. 
then we'll put an automatic on um, automatic opener on it and we will be set um, for our main entry here so someday if you guys are in the area you drive by you'll know this is the cross timbers bison ranch all right right here first time driving over the cattle guard for anyone first time here we go Well, there you have it. It didn't break. So, <laughs> no, but but seriously, uh, something that we'll probably need is, uh, this took one little rock. I got just a little bit left over there. There it is. Um, I got just a little bit left, but after a while, if we, after we keep hitting this and, and driving over it, it'll pack down, which is what we want uh, for that long-term um, travel but uh, we may have to get a little rock on it after it settles and put some more on it and use around, use around the property. So there you go, we did it. Got a category to solve.